Hi Libra, welcome to your weekly forecast for August 29th through September 4th. This is going to be a general reading for the Libra Collective. You might stumble upon the video after the time frame I mentioned, a few weeks, a few months, a few years. It's all good. You're going to find it whenever you're meant to hear the messages. Keep in mind it's a general reading for the collective. Not every single message is going to resonate and that's okay. Take what does and leave what doesn't. So without further ado, my dears and my darlings, let's see what's coming up for Libra Sun, Libra Moon, and Libra Rising. Let's get right on into it, my lovelies. We're going to move you just a little bit closer. And the first card coming up here for the Libra Collective is the Ten of Wands. Something is finally coming to completion. Something you've been working on. Something you've been stressing over. Uh, you're going to finally be able to put it down. Lay it down and be at rest. Um, I do feel for, for a lot of you Libras, the Ten of Wands to me has the vibe of like getting your ducks in a row okay uh sometimes it can be that you're in a stressful situation and spirit is saying it's not worth sacrificing your mental health your physical health your emotional health put it down don't sacrifice yourself for a stressful situation but the feeling that i feel around the ten of wands for libra in this reading feels to me like like you're getting your ducks in a row so that you can take the next step in your life and maybe you thought you couldn't do it or it was going to take a long time and you might find that this week you're like wow no i'm actually wrapping it up i'm actually you know almost done here i'm actually going to be done here and now i can go ahead and i can um you know uh take this step or make this investment or make this move or pursue this person or whatever it might be right i just heard game changer whatever this is it's going to be a game changer for you i feel like life was out of order and there was some kind of chaos and now you're finally getting it put together like it's, you're finally getting it organized you're finally getting it cleared up i feel for some of you you're clearing out your space drastically um, and this may be a, a physical manifestation of your emotional and spiritual clearing. So you may be just like, like just going in like gangbusters and just like clearing out closets and clearing out shelves and donating things and selling things and gifting things and, uh, you know, uh, you know, just like clearing out the clutter, clearing out excess. Oh gosh, I can't remember when was the last time I used this. Let me call my buddy and ask him if they would like to have it. Or let me go drop it off at the Goodwill or at the thrift shop. Or let me try to sell it online. You know, I just feel like there's this massive clearing that's, as I said, a manifestation of what's going on with you emotionally and energetically. I feel like some of you Libras are uh, minimizing, like minimizing, simplifying, uh, because you're you're preparing for some kind of adventure here or some kind of travels or some kind of a move. Um, and so I, I feel like there's a decluttering with this Ten of Wands for a lot of the Libras. The next card that's coming up here for you all is the Two of Wands. And this is choices, decisions, partnerships, um, sometimes this comes up when you have to be cautious because somebody's making you an offer, but they may be like selling you short. Um, but I don't get that vibe or that sense in this reading for you all, Libra. The way that I'm feeling it this time around is that some stress is being lifted, some stress is being put down, and you're coming into a time of partnership. You're coming into a time of help right so some of you may be entering into a collaboration or a business partnership and i feel that in this sense it's going to be equal like you're equally invested you're equally working um i feel some of you are manifesting an equal like some of you have even like said to yourself my god like if i could just find another me and i feel this two of wands it's like it's another you whether it's in the sense of 
working together in business or a romantic relationship or a friendship, whatever it may be, I feel like you're manifesting another you. Someone who thinks a lot like you, somebody who sees things a lot like you, and somebody who's going to be able to roll up their sleeves um, and, and work towards common goals uh, in, in a way that you would, right? So I feel a tremendous sense of uh, co compatibility here and flow. I feel like you're coming into flow um, where it's not going to be hard. It's like, and I feel here for some reason, I know Two of Wands is not a communication card, but I feel, Libra, that a lot of you are having some kind of clearing or unblocking where you're becoming a much more fluid uh, uh, communicator, like a very effective communicator. You're communicating very effortlessly, very clearly. Uh, you're able to express your ideas and your opinions and your wishes and like things are moving forward a lot more quickly and a lot more smoothly as a result. I feel there's something here with communication uh, really improving or picking up. The next card that's coming up here for the Libra Collective is the Knave of Swords. This could be you in your wonderful, beautiful air sign energy. The Knave or the Page can be a youthful or playful air sign person. Uh, this could be word or, or um, uh, like, like studying, uh, studying, writing, reading. Uh, gathering information uh, sometimes it is a card that comes up for me that says you need to be cautious and that you could have someone online like creating fake accounts to get information about you and I, I do kind of feel that vibe here right there may be good things happening you may be getting ahead and there could be exes or frenemies that are trying to figure out what's going on they may be sliding into your DMs. So just be careful. Just be cautious what you're divulging to anyone you haven't met in person or anybody that you don't know in person, no matter how legit their profile looks, okay? Um, just be cautious what you're divulging here in the DMs if, if this is not a person you've met face-to-face, -face, even if you have a ton of mutual friends online. Um, this Knave of Swords, though... Uh, can be doing some kind of reconnaissance or surveillance for yourself, uh, gathering information. Uh, a lot of you are moving forward towards big ideas and big goals. And so the Page of Swords or Knave of Swords for me sometimes comes up to say that a lot of your manifestation is going to materialize if you simply just go and, and look what's going on out there, what's available out there. So for example, if you're trying to manifest a car, Go and test drive a few cars. You'll be surprised what ends up working out. Or you're trying to manifest a move. Start looking at apartments. Start looking at houses. Just go look. You'll be you'll be surprised at what you know falls into place. You'll be uh, surprised at what works out. Like just go out there and look, and 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 give things a try. Uh, give things a test drive, and you'll see that. Um, things actually happen even if you thought well I didn't think I was going to get approved or I didn't think I was going to find anything I could afford well surprise 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 the universe is backing you up so go out there and look gather information try things out and you'll see things coming together ooh Libra the next card coming up here for the Libra Collective is the Ten of Cups now, this is a card that gets labeled because a lot of people are used to watching Tarot for Love and Romance. So, Ten of Cups oftentimes gets labeled as marriage and babies. Now, some of you could very well be manifesting marriage and babies. That could be the partnership that's coming in for some of you. Um, however, not everybody wants marriage and babies. Some of you have already been there, done that. The babies are grown and having their own babies. And you're not about to have more babies of your own after your babies have grown. Some of you just don't want babies, right? So Ten of Cups in a deeper way is uh, inner peace. Inner peace and complete and total satisfaction and happiness in every aspect. 
and in every area of your life. It's the happily ever after. Okay, it's the happily ever after. And that's going to be different for different ones of us, right? Your happily ever after uh, might be very different than my happily ever after. And so I don't want to typecast it and just say, oh, marriage and babies, because that's not going to be the case for every single person. Whatever your happily ever after is, though, this is what you're headed towards. This is what you're manifesting. This is what you're seeing materialize. I do feel here that Libra, some of you may be doing something um, involving children, okay? And this is coming in more intuitively. So some of you may be finding yourself uh, babysitting or taking on a job having to be with kids or volunteering um, around kids or, or creating art or content or media geared towards children. And I feel that the reason why this is happening is to open up your heart chakra. Um, and in opening up your heart chakra, you're going to be manifesting uh, much more quickly, much more rapidly, right? You're coming into the energy of receiving. The heart chakra needs to be open so that we can receive. And I feel for some of you, uh, your angels and guides are helping that process happen uh, with you being around children, being around kids. Uh, for some of you, I'm hearing, it's also going to be a way in which your patience and compassion is being trained. Because in your success and the success that you're headed towards, you are going to have um, a lot of instances where you have authority, where you have people under you, where you're um, delegating and you're giving orders and like so there could be a, a self-employment or business that's really picking up and you're going to have employees under you or assistants under you or you may move up um, in your career uh, and you may have people kind of catering to you and I feel like right now spirit is giving you chances to open up your heart to be in the energy of love, to be in patience, to be in compassion, so that when you have this authority over others, um, you're gentle. You do it in a gentle way, and you, you're, you're compassionate. You don't lose yourself. It doesn't go to your head. You don't turn into some, you know, uh, <laughs> monster or some really difficult person, right? You don't, you don't lose your soul. Um, as you're as you're climbing up in this success you may want to check out your moon sign and rising sign videos some weeks your moon sign or rising sign might resonate more than your sun sign if you'd like a private reading with me there's a link in the description of the video that will take you to calendsleycom slash amethyst angelite you can schedule a private reading with me there um, love readings for August and September are linked in the description of the video. You can definitely check those out. And there is a playlist for the weekly forecast too. So it'll be easy for you to find your other placements if you want to check out the weekly forecast videos for your moon and for your rising. Hopefully you guys can check out the card of the day that I post on the channel here. Uh, but if not, I hope you all have a fabulous week ahead. And I hope you'll come back and check out next week's forecast. I thank you all for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. I hope you all have a fabulous and wonderful week ahead, my dears. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your comments and your sharing. And uh, thank you for receiving the messages. I love you guys. Take care and be well.